My goodness. This dorm room looks exactly like it did when I lived here over 20 years ago. You mean to tell me that this is the exact same dorm room you lived in your freshman year? That's right, Denise. Room number 224. Boy, if these walls could talk. I'm sure they scream. Now, Chris, stop it. You know I was a very studious student. You act as though the only things that went on here were studying and sleeping. That is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> now, Cliff, what are you doing? I don't want to get hit by the lightning. What about Boom Boom Henderson? Boom Boom Henderson? Yes, Denise. Your mother used to have a crush on this big, ugly dude from England named Boom Boom Henderson. Well, why did they call him Boom Boom? Because his IQ was so low, it kept hitting the floor. Now, Cliff, you're not right. You know that Boom Boom went on to accomplish great things. You know that he's an inventor now. Maybe he should invent a higher IQ. I think there's more to the story than your mother is letting on. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I'm going to go out and check the running track. I'll let you two ladies sit and talk about Boom Boom. So, Mom, tell me more about this Boom Boom. Well, your father only knows about half the story. All the girls in school were in love with him. And when he asked me to the homecoming dance, I nearly lost my wits. So did you date him long? Long enough to upset your father. <laughs> it was a long time ago. But sometimes, it seems like it was only yesterday. I can't date you, Boom Boom. You know, I'm pretty sweet on Clip Home. Mom, can you hear me? I'm sorry, sweetie. I was just reminiscing a bit. You never finish the story. And Denise, I never, ever will finish it. <laughs> Remember, you're here to get an education. Now let's go find your father. Is Theo home? Hey, cockroach. No, everybody's gone. My parents went to go take Denise up to Hillman to go check out the campus. And Rudy is upstairs taking a nap. Everybody else is gone for the day. And it's far enough so my parents can't surprise me on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he calls me like every hour. I don't want to talk to him. Did I tell you I met this really cute guy up at Hillman? His name is Patrick, and he's a senior. Hold on. And he's going to come over tonight. I think I'm going to have sex with him. <laughs> my parents are going to take Theo and my sisters to Cats on Broadway. Yeah, they asked me if I wanted to go, but I'm just so tired of being the last. OK, bye. So, uh, you said your parents won't be back for a few hours? Yeah, they went to go see Cats on Broadway tonight. Hmm, that's great. Yeah, my dad loves musicals. What, is he gay? Theo, how many times do I have to tell you to pick up your dirty socks? I didn't leave my socks there. Cliff? Don't look at me. Those are not my socks. And unless Rudy is wearing a man size nine, they must be yours, Theo. Oh, those socks. Yeah, those are mine. And what about this pair of underwear? Young man, I am not your maid. Certainly not, dear. We could never afford you. And who left this bottle of beer here? Cliff, you know what the doctor said about extra calories. 
but I'm a doctor. <laughs> Son, if this is yours, we'll have to have a man-to-man -man talk later. <laughs> oh, that beer. <laughs> yeah, Mom, that, that's mine. Your beer? Yeah, um, they say if you uh, splash a little on your face, it helps your beer go thicker. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. No, no, honey, it's true. I've been splashing for a long time. Mom, Dad, that's not Theo or Dad's beer. It's Patrick's beer. Who's Patrick? He's my... He's my tutor, helping me study for the exam. We didn't know you had a tutor, sweetheart. Denise, I'm proud of you. Yes, we are, sweetheart. Well, now that that's settled, I'm going to go and make everybody some hot cocoa. Hey, Denise, does Patrick need his underwear back? <laughs>